Hey friends, welcome. I'm so glad you guys came to hang out with me today. I'm excited to spend the time with you. Come close, come really close and see what I've been looking at today. Take a look at this picture. It is a picture of the world. This picture is called a map and it shows us different places that, where people live. There is a star on this map that shows us where we live. Can you find that star? It is right here. What else do you see on the map? There are hearts all over the map. Each heart shows us a different part of the world. There are many people who live by each of these hearts. God tells us to share his love with everyone. Can we share God's love with the people who live in Brazil? Yes, we can. Let's draw a line from the star where we live to one of the hearts on our world. Let's see, let's, let's go to Africa. Do the people who live in Africa need to hear about God's love? Yes, they do. I want to share with you something God showed me today in his Big God story. Remember, friends, we find Big God stories in God's special book, the Bible. And the Bible teaches us all about God. But before we get started with that, let's take a moment to pray together and ask God to teach us more about him. So let's close our eyes and pray. Dear God, we thank you for this time together with our friends. We ask that you teach us more and more about you, and we thank you for your big God stories. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, friends, I have some pictures that I want to show you to help us with our story today. Let's look at the first picture. What do we see in this picture? Let's see, there is a boat and some water. There are people, and what are the people doing? That's right, they're fishing. Some of us may have heard this part of the Big God story before. This is the part of the story when Jesus told his friends, the disciples, to throw their nets into the water to catch fish. The men listened to Jesus' words and threw their nets into the water. When they pulled their nets out of the water, what do you think was inside the nets? Lots of fish! Let's take a look at our next picture. What do we see? It's a picture of Jesus and his disciple Peter. What is Jesus doing? Yeah, Jesus is walking on the water, and so was Peter. Jesus told him to get out of the boat and walk to him. Did Peter listen to Jesus? Yes, he did. Was Jesus with Peter? Yes, Jesus was with Peter the entire time. Oh, I remember this part of the Big God story. Here, take a look. The people who gathered to be near Jesus were hungry. Come to think of it, I think I'm a little hungry too. Anyway, they only had two fish and five loaves of bread. That wasn't enough food to feed all the people. So Jesus performed a miracle. He turned the two fish and five loaves of bread into enough food for everyone who was hungry. What do you see in this picture? It is a picture of the tomb where Jesus lay after he died on the cross. Do you remember how many days Jesus lay inside the tomb? Three days. Can you count to three with me? One, two, three. Good job. On the third day, Jesus rose from the grave. He is alive just as he promised he would be. Okay, let's look at the last picture. Who was in this picture? What are the people doing in this picture? This picture shows us a part of the Big God story when Jesus told his friends to meet him at the mountain after he came back to life. The mountain was in the city of Galilee. When we look at these pictures, they remind us of all the things that Jesus told his friends, the disciples. He was getting them ready for a very important job. Jesus wanted his friends to go out to everywhere and tell everybody everything that he told them. Jesus wanted everyone to know how he had died for their sins so everyone could know God. God wants people everywhere to know him. Jesus told his disciples to go everywhere, all over the whole world, and tell all people the good news. And that's what Jesus' disciples did. They did just as Jesus said. They told people everywhere about God's love. They told them how Jesus died for their sins and he came back to life again. Because Jesus is the good news, people, all people, can know God and be with him forever and ever. That is such exciting good news. And God wants us 
to go and tell everybody all over the place too about the good news of Jesus. We can start right by our homes. We can tell our family, we can tell our, our neighbors, we can tell our friends, we can tell everybody until all people know the good news of Jesus. We can even tell people on the telephone or we can tell people on the computer. We can even write it in a letter and mail it to somebody. So friends, what happened after Jesus died? He came back to life so all people could know God and live with him forever and ever. Isn't that such good news? Okay, friends, let's make a craft that you can hang in your home to remind you to tell everyone the good news about Jesus. This is what you're going to need for this craft. You're going to need three different color pieces of paper. You're going to need ribbon, string, or yarn. You need uh, a white paper plate or white paper markers or crayons, and a hole punch. And this is how you're going to make it. You're going to take each of your colored paper and you're going to cut three different size circles out of each paper. So your first one, your smallest one, you're going to write my house on it. And you're going to draw a picture of your house. And then the next one, you're going to write my city. And you're going to draw a picture of a city on it. And then the next circle, you're going to write my continent, and you're going to draw a picture of your continent. We live in America, so that's what you would draw, a picture of North America. And then on the paper plate, or your big white paper, you're going to write my planet, and you're going to make a picture of the world. And you can make your world look however you want. Now the next part, you may need mom and dad's help, because you're going to take the hole punch... And you're going to punch a hole at the top of each of your circles. And then you're going to take your yarn or your thread or your string and put it through the holes so you can hang it anywhere you want. So it reminds you to tell everyone in the world that Jesus is the good news. 